Let's talk about how to find scholarly literature on philosophy and religion topics using the ECU Library's databases. ECU subscribes to over 400 different databases on a range of subjects. The list is searchable alphabetically by subject area and by category or format. Let's go there now. This is the library homepage at www.ecu.edu slash lib and you'll notice just below the OneSearch box there's a database list link. And as you can see, the, the over 400 databases are searchable alphabetically by subjects and by category. I'm going to go ahead and click into the philosophy and religion category. Note that the list includes six high quality databases, any of which may be useful for your research. Today we'll be looking specifically at Philosopher's Index, which includes over 600,000 records related to philosophy and religion. Like most databases, getting started can be as easy as putting in your keyword topics and hitting search. But note that limiters are available on the main search page. These limiters allow you to filter out content you know in advance you won't need. Only interested in a particular date range, for example? Place your start and stop dates in the appropriate fields. Or limit your search results to only those items with link text. Finally, Notice the indexes link that's included on the main search page for Philosopher's Index. Articles included in Philosopher's Index are indexed in a number of different ways, all of them searchable. So for example, let's say I'm looking for articles on Martin Heidegger and his views on authenticity. Notice one available index is People is Subject. Let's select that and then search for Martin Heidegger. Let's check off this box beside his name and select Add. You'll now see that your search field has been populated with a new search term. Now let's see if there's a subject listing for authenticity. There is. As I want all of my article results to include both Heidegger and authenticity, I'm going to change the Boolean operator here from AND to OR. So I'm going to mark off authenticity. And I'm going to make that AND. As you can see now, only articles on Martin Heidegger that include the subject of authenticity are going to show up in my search results. Let's search. Notice there is a mix of journals and books in my results. Let's go ahead and limit that to just journals. For some of these articles, the PDF will be immediately available. Just click on the, uh, the PDF link that you see, and the full text of the article should appear. For many of these records, instead what you're going to find is this purple Find It button. Clicking this button searches all of ECU's other journal packages and databases to see if we own this content elsewhere. So for example, while this article is not available in full text in Philosopher's Index, the Find It button does link us to the full text. And there we go. These all look like pretty good search results. This article looks interesting, but the full text is not available, so I'm going to click Find It. If an article is not owned by ECU, you'll be directed toward a page like this, where you can request the article via interlibrary loan. You just log in with your Iliad information, and our interlibrary loan department will request the article from another library for you. 
For all the articles indexed by Philosopher's Index, a citation can also be auto-generated. Let's go back to this record. I can pull up the PDF full text, clicking on the PDF link. I can print the article. I can email myself the article. Or I can click on the Cite button, and I'll find the citation information for the article already formatted into to several popular formats. APA, for example, which I could then copy-paste over to my Works Cited page. If you have questions, remember, ask a librarian.